everybody, it's Cody, Dixon RC here. So, as you see, I've got the new G-Made Komodo GSO2 double cab, or that's the G-Made GSO2 Komodo double cab kit. Um, of course, it is not that color, it is uh, not painted at all. So, what I'm going to do is build this. This will be my first non-axial kit that I built for myself, scaler-wise. I know that's a 1.9 rig. I built a BRX of one that's cool. I built a TRX4 for a guy that wasn't mine. This will be the first time I built one for myself kind of deal, so I get to kind of do what I want to do while I'm building it kind of deal. So it's a little bit different than building for somebody else. Um, so it's to be neat, something different. I feel like uh, this particular chassis and this particular truck is underrated as far as the world of 1.9 rigs go. Um, I think everybody didn't really pay any attention to it. When it first come out with the the I think it was the bomb, the bomb of the bomb yeah the bomb the little Ranger looking truck with the cab in the back or the cage in the back that hinged. I think they had some transmission issues. Uh, they have since fixed that. Of course, this comes with all the new upgraded stuff as well. This kit's two hundred seventy nine dollars, uh, which is a really good deal for what you're getting. You're getting a lot of stuff. A lot of things like that um, so this will be neat it'll be fun we get to go over with it I'm going to open it up for you show all the stuff inside of it this will be just a quick video and then the next video will be me building this thing so we're gonna do a build and uh, so hang tight all right so we're gonna open this thing up show you what comes in it of course you get nice G made by bo uh, box black everything they got the cool face on it don't know what that face means <laughs> always wondered that so this should be like any other kit nothing should be any different than say anything else that you ever have seen <clears throat> first one's gonna be the grill and the bumpers looks like they got man that's pretty strong bumpers there uh, of course that means they got tail lights and headlight buckets as well so you can put in leds um it looks like it comes with one part to replace something uh that they have changed uh you get a g-made sticker of course and it looks like chassis braces and servo battery tray, servo mount, side, oh, chassis rails in there too as well. Now, the only thing that I've noticed that I don't really care for in this kit is the fact that it has plastic links. Um, I've meant to order aluminum links. I may try and see if a 10-2 kit will work. Uh, this is very, very loosely based on the 10-2, so I'm assuming this would probably be close. Uh, you do get a plastic wheel, uh, non bead locks. You do have to glue them on. Nobody wants to do that. Plastic drive shafts with a center section that moves, like every other one, pretty much. Uh, you, it looks like you get metal gears in it um, in the transmission. You get a plastic spur, which is generally normal. All the bolts, nuts, and stuff are all in one bag as well. And they actually have a quality control card in it as well. That's pretty neat. That's something you don't see. And then the body, the double cab Ford Raptor style body. That's really what it looks like. They're, they're like their leg sand's pretty nice. A little better than I expected it to be anyway. Let's move that over here out the way. Uh, tires. Now, these are the MT 1903s. I'm assuming, it, I know it's 1.9 of course. But it's probably nothing special as far as it's kind of got a Swamper-esque style to it. Uh, we might put the, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I haven't decided what I want to do just yet on that particular part of it. Uh, then we get shocks. Uh, it is a full aluminum bodied shock with uh, adjustment, meaning you get a full coilover. Uh, it comes with fluid as well. Not sure on the weight. Uh, looks like it comes with just a set of springs to do the just amount of shocks you get i think the next is an axle bag these are what i think they're called ga44 which is ar44 basically uh, it comes with full sealed bearings uh, looks like you get all the little axle pieces and it has cvas universals would have been nicer you do get metal uh, steering linkage which is nice comes with some g-made grease you do get metal hexes for the wheels that's good that's something you don't see most everybody puts plastic in there it's like just a regular bevel um 
diff gear, nothing special. Then you get the bag with the instruction manual and the stickers and the bonus parts. This pretty much the only bonus parts that's in here is a set of metal balls, link in rod in balls for the you know the links and stuff. Um, nothing else. That's pretty much it. That's all that's in the bag, guys. So nothing to it. Just like every other kit, pretty much. Um, so we're going to get to building. I'm going to. This is going to be all you're going to see on this video here real quick nothing to it to the point see what's in the box and then we're going to do some building after this so um thanks for watching everybody and we'll uh see you next time